that's punk rock. And one day they just sort of started going, um... And that was grunge. The most noisy, most absurd, the heaviest thing that was going. The Northwest is where flying saucers, the term flying saucers was coined. It's the serial killer capital of the world. I mean, the Manson family used to vacation up this way. This place is weird. I think we all became aware that there was a certain regional sound developing, and nobody had a name for it. When these bands started to get popular, all of a sudden, everyone wanted to find the next Nirvana. Everyone wanted to sign the next Pearl Jam. It's so profitable. It's so profitable, and they'll just keep taking and taking and taking, and they 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 just don't know how to restrain themselves. Really pisses me off. Well, I like them first. Suddenly, every publication and all the media in the world wants to get at you. People everywhere you go recognize you. They want your autograph. To actually be this close to a pop culture explosion has been really fascinating. I mean, all of a sudden you can understand what happened in San Francisco in 66 and 7. You can understand what happened in England during the punk thing. You can see how ridiculous the whole damn thing is. You sing about dogs. You sing about being sick. You got a shtick. It'll take you to the top.